Hey guys, it's Terry. Welcome to this week's vlog. It is Saturday. I have sweet baby Grayson and guess who is fully walking now? This little man is walking. Hold on little bud. He is walking all over the house. Is it so good? Is it so good, Baba? So anyway, we are having lunch. He's having some bananas right now. And then, and he's still not feeling good. He's still got a really bad runny nose. He's a little warm, but he's he's on the mend. Um, and he's been tested. He does not have COVID, <laughs> you silly. Anyway, um, but he's still got a runny nose. So we are having lunch and then a baba and a diaper change. And then he is ready for a nappy. So I might have this little man overnight. Here, baby. Um, he does not like to be in this thing anymore because now that he can walk, he wants to he wants to be out and about. So a little bit later, I'll show you him walking around. He's so cute. Okay, little bed, little man is sleeping. He is pooped out. Um, I think I'm gonna make myself oh, some, I don't know, I have tea, but the tea was upsetting my stomach because I don't have my normal tea. I have moringa tea and it's like a superfood high energy tea and that's gonna, it's just upsetting my stomach, so <laughs> clean that shit out. Um, I think I might make this French Vanilla Cafe from Maxwell House. I think I might do that. Um, and I'm sitting down watching one of my favorite videos. I have a couple of um, home sitting channels um, for the sake of what I'm about to talk about. I'm not going to mention which channel I'm watching. I started watching the video and I came back to it and she found a stray cat in her garden and was asking like how to keep the cat out of her garden beds. Well, you know, you read through the comments like you do, and I noticed that someone commented about putting essential citrus essential oils in the garden, and I was and I commented, I'm like, you know, you guys know how much we love cats here. Citrus is the worst essential oil for a cat, even if they if they smell it, if they brush on it at all. If like if you're if you're diffusing it and it gets on their fur and they lick it, it can be deadly. It destroys their digestive system. It can kill a cat. So like me being a rescuer of cats, I commented like, no, please. Uh, maybe I was a little too harsh, but I was like, please do not use citrus essential oils. They can kill cats. Even if a cat, if a cat ingests that, if it rubs up on its fur and licks its fur, it can be deadly to a cat at all costs. Do not use essential oils to keep a cat out of a garden. Well, this was like, I don't know, four days ago. And so I came back to the video because I didn't finish it. And I went to watch it and I noticed the comment was still there, although it had been modified some, but my comment about not using essential oils was gone. It was deleted. I don't know if the channel uh, owner d did thought my comment was abrasive, um, which it wasn't meant to be, but it, it was meant to educate. Or if the person deleted their comment, therefore it would have deleted mine and then re, because her comment was now changed, saying she put essential oils on cloths and put them around the garden, that will still kill the cat. That could still kill the cat. Um, her answer wasn't any better than the first time around. But it just irritates me because people don't, and this so often, not just about this topic, People are so uneducated and they don't take the time to do homework and do research. I'm a bit of a research nerd myself, so I do a lot of homework and a lot of research and I don't use Google for my research because they, they you know, if you're trying to find information, they actually block what you're, they, they control, let's say, what you're seeing. I use DuckDuckGo uh, a lot of times for the research I'm doing and DuckDuckGo also blocks like trackers and stuff like that as well. Um, trying to see where you're going and get your information. So that's, um, I downloaded DuckDuckGo and I use that when I need to search the internet for something. But it just irritates me that in today's world with it, we have a fountain of information at our disposal at any given time and people are idiots. They just, they don't know what they're talking about. They're, they're, I just, mm, I just get so aggravated. You know, this particular situation, she's giving bad advice, this person is giving, this is not the, the channel, but a, a, a subscriber is giving absolutely terrible, potentially deadly advice, 
and this channel is fairly large with a lot of subscribers, so if people read through the comments and see that, how many other people are gonna be like, oh, we can use citrus essential oils to keep cats out of the garden? No, you can't. No, you can't. It will kill the cats. I just, I just don't have, look, I know everybody's got a different IQ. I do understand that, but you don't have to really be super smart to do a little bit of homework on some of this stuff. If you go to any website about cats and essential oils, any, it will tell you the information. I'm preaching to the choir because I got the best subscribers. My subscribers know this. Uh, you guys have shared some of this information with me in the past. You guys know this. Um, I, I've got a lot of you on here that are very uh, homeopathic, that you use crystals and you use essential oils and you use the products of this earth that the Lord gave us. And um, I know you guys are so wonderful, but it's just aggravating me to see that kind of information. But just like everything else, there's so much misinformation out there. And I get so irritated by the people who like same thing with politics they they pull their information their research from the media that is not where you get your research if you want the truth and that's all i'm going to say about that if somebody wants to have a private conversation with me about hey i want to know where you're getting information if I, i'm interested in this i'm i will tell you email me my email is always in the description box i will give you some resources um to find out political stuff when it comes to like let's say covid and studies that are being done and natural immunity and the vaccine i have resources i can give you guys um, but i'm not gonna bring that into my channel because it's such a controversial topic i just get aggravated that people don't do their own homework and research and that they rely on the corrupt media for information or they just don't even check like this thing with the cat and the essential oils. Ugh, this makes me so angry because how many cats are going to get hurt because of this lady's stupidity and not taking a moment to just look it up. She's clearly not a cat lover. All right, off my soapbox. I could go all day. All right, friends. So I am going to, I got to plug my phone in here. I'm going to go make that Nestle Cafe vanilla, whatever it was. I'm going to have a cup of that, I think. I don't think that'll upset my stomach. And... I am going to relax because he is, I may have him overnight until tomorrow morning and he is walking now. I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you him walking around in a little bit when he gets up. So he's so cute. He's so cute. I just love him so much. And his birthday is next week, guys. He's going to be one. He's going to be one years old. I cannot believe he is one already. Oh, my little Buddha butt. He's my Buddha butt. TJ's my pumpkin butt. All right. I'll see you guys in a little bit. What are you doing, buddy? Let's go this way. Let's, oh, oh, okay, let's just show Kenzie how we walk around now. Go get Papa. Go get him. He's waving to you, Robert. All right, come on, bud. Come on. Night, you're going down. Come on. You going to wave? Apollo 20 that ultimately never flew, but it's, it's there. <laughs> Nitro, go lay down. I don't want him to accidentally hurt the baby. Where are we going? We gotta turn around now. We're gonna go the other way now. Come on, let's go this way. He always goes over and tries to take everything off. We watch them hoist the uh, the uh, space capsule onto the deck of the recovery ship. Nitro, go lay down. He's running from the dog. Fairly soon, but again, play with your toys. Do I have a cranky baby who only slept like 30 minutes? Do I have a cranky baby? Cranky baby. Oh, you're going to take a walk? One-handed walk. Because you don't need that anymore. Oh, no, 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 no. Not going to play with the baby's water, or the doggy's water. No. Grayson. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. No, come on. Come on. 
I know you're not gonna listen. Come on, come on. Let's go this way. Just wanna get into stuff and Titi's got all her little seeds and everything that you can't have, huh? Come on. Oh, he's getting mad. He's getting mad, come on. No, let's go play over here. You're mad at me now. Are you mad because you have to play with toys and can't play in the... Yeah. What? He's sick. What happened? What we'll hand go? What we'll hand go? What's wrong? You want to put my, my shoe on? Daddy's going to kill me. You want to put my shoe on? What's wrong, little chubby cheeks? I cranky and I tired. I don't feel so good. Mm. You wanna go rock rock? You wanna go rock rock? We're watching Thomas the Train. That's what is on right now. And we got a cranky bubby butt. Say hi, everybody. Say it's not feeling so good. You want to say hi? Tell everybody you got a little cold. Are you saying hi? Hi. Hi. You see yourself? Eat those cheeks. What do you want? Hey, 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 look. Look over here. Look over here. Say hello. Yeah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> Tell that doggy, no, no, no. Where are you going? Where are you going? Walking with your blankie? Are you rocking, Bubby? You got that thing figured out, huh? You can't step off of there. Here, you step back there. Rock! Rock! <laughs> oh, dab, 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 dab. Cranky butt.
All right, guys, it has been a rough day. It's almost six o'clock now on Monday. I've had like migraine level headache all day. I had to sleep. I just had, I had to close my eyes. So I just slept a little while and I took some ibuprofen for the, or Tylenol, whatever I had up there for my headache. And I'm feeling a little better. Um, God, I hope this headache doesn't last through um, tomorrow. But they said even if it's a small concussion, it could be seven days or so to heal. I'm getting ready to light a candle and I actually just wanted to show you guys. First time ordering from this company and really impressed. A, they were packaged up really, really nice and safe. They have a website you can download. They're called DW Home. And you can, if you look up DW Candles or DW Home, there's a website or an app you can download and then you can order all the candles you want off the app. Um, and they have all of their pumpkin and then they also have some specialty candles out right now for Halloween. You can order them just off their website, but if you download the app, you won't be able to order the Halloween candles. Those are app exclusives only. So I got just two. Um, these, I got the, these are Cafe Creations, pumpkin spice latte. Look at how beautiful it looks like it. You know how they do that design on coffee on the top of your foam of your coffee. And you can see it's just got pumpkin spice latte. It's got the little thing. And then the other one I got was a chestnut praline latte. And these are huge candles too. They're real big and there's this one's got that on the top of it. it looks like coffee. Um, I think I'm gonna light the pumpkin spice one. These are 15 point, the top just fell off, 15.1 ounces, 428 grams. I don't know how long they burn, like how many burn hours they are, but I'm assuming it's at least 60, probably longer. These might be 100, 100 hour burn candles or two wicks. So I'm going to go ahead and light one of these babies up. Hopefully it doesn't give my, make my headache come back. <clears throat> I just went outside and I watered all my stuff in the back. Um, caterpillars just ate all of the broccoli. It, the only thing they didn't eat was the spinach. So I'm going to leave the spinach in there. And I'm going to buy new broccoli starts when I can get to the, when I can get back over to the little um, greenhouse thing place, the nursery that I shop at for that. But I mean, they ate, like I'll show you later that they just demolished and I looked and there's all these caterpillars on, on there. So, um, I'm just going to let them have them, let them do their thing. And then I'm going to buy new broccoli starts. You can treat them with BT powder, but I'm going to coat, I'm going to cover them. I'm going to put like a, um, like a mesh over them so that caterpillars can't get on there and lay eggs. And that should prevent them from ruining the next broccoli that I get. Anyway, um... Charles and Eric learning how to garden your first year doing this stuff. I would have, if I had known, I would have done that before I planted them, but I didn't know. So, um, it's okay. It's all a learning lesson and, um, you know, we'll, we'll get it right next time. So, um, I will see you guys a little bit later. I just wanted to show you those candles and I'll link, I'll, well, I'll link the website below, but I recommend that you download the app. That way you guys can get the exclusive candles that they offer. So I'm just going to chill and rest this evening because I truly feel like, do do and hopefully i'll feel better tomorrow i'll talk to you guys later hey guys so it is tuesday night i wanted to show you i planted my I, i'm getting ready to get in the shower my um i planted a couple things today i'll put a picture up on the screen of what this stuff is but i planted in here some heading collards um they ate all my the the, the butterflies i think they're the blue and black swallowtail butterflies are beautiful but um i i hosted them with my broccoli and my cabbage. They ate everything. I'll show you. The only thing they didn't touch was the spinach. All right. Then I have right here a row each of the following. I have some a wildflower mix. That's just beautiful wildflowers. I have bunny ear violas because those are fabulous for the fall and winter and spring. I have dwarf lupines. I don't know if those, those will come up. I don't know if they'll take it over winter. We're going to find out. And then I have arugula. So I have that, and I just want to take, it's dark, getting dark out here, but I wanted to show you what is happening, what happened, I guess, to my um, my broccoli and cabbage. <laughs> they ate all of it. Now, if you look right here, let's see if it'll focus. That is a caterpillar right there. It doesn't want to focus. And then I saw, I don't know where they're all hiding. There's one in there. 
down there and there's one right here. There's about, I, I counted about 12. I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're all over. And look at what they did to the broccoli. They ate all of it. Um, the only thing they didn't really touch is the spinach, although this spinach doesn't look very good right here. Um, anyway, this spinach looks okay. I'm gonna let that be and leave that alone. And I'm gonna pull these out and hopefully those butterflies have a healthy healthy life. Look at this, can you see this? OMG, I mean those little things. I can't believe what they did to this, that's insane. I still haven't yet planted these chives. It doesn't look like they bothered these, so maybe I'll put these stinky onions in with the broccoli in the next batch. I also need to get out here. Aw, oh, that's got something on it, bummer. These look okay though. I need to get out here and pick these um, and I have like three of these that are fully ready to go and I need to pick them. Um, I'm ready to pull this out. I don't think these cucumbers are edible, unfortunately. Um, this what's growing up in here, I forgot what I planted. I planted sweet peas and there's about 10 of them growing up in there. So those are doing good. I also moved this, um, this I can't believe it lasted all summer considering they don't like the heat that we had but uh, that's supposed to keep squash bugs away. Maybe I should move it over by the squash since uh, the butterflies will move it over here and put it by our watermelon and our squash and do your thing, do your thing. Um, and then up here I did plant with in some of my strawberries. Um, I planted a couple more of the nasturtiums and they're coming up. So here's one, there's one, here's one. Yeah, so they, and here's one. This one hasn't opened yet, but they're all coming up. This one's doing the best. So that'll be more nasturtiums coming up in there. <sighs> anyway, that's what's happening in the garden. I am going to go in the house right now. I have to take a shower and get ready for work tomorrow. And we have, a, we have the kitty back here. Um, the black kitty, let me turn the off because it's kind of loud. Hold on a second. So they thought that maybe Grayson was having a allergic reaction to the little black cat, which I knew he wasn't because he is here all the time and never had a problem over the last year with the cats. They also got sick when they moved into their apartment um, and they lived with me for a year. Drew grew up with animals. He's not allergic to animals and actually his girlfriend grew up with cats too so she's not allergic. So it wouldn't have made sense for them to all of a sudden have an allergic reaction to a new kitten when they've grown up around animals their whole life and never had an issue. But they repainted and the, before they moved into the apartment, apartment, they painted and they put new carpets down and new carpets have a chemical and latex that's used in the adhesive between the padding and the carpet that very much could cause severe allergies, but it's not, well, it could be allergies too, but she took him to the doctor and they tested that little boy. He has RSV virus. So uh, Mackenzie had that when she was two weeks and that can be very deadly to newborns, but he's one, he's going to be okay. He's probably coming out on the outside of it. She actually, the doctor told her to continue to give Grayson something I purchased for him. It was like a, um, organic cough syrup with elderberry in it. And, um, I'm going to make that elderberry syrup and then give him some of that too. Um, but she said the doctor actually, I was surprised she recommended an organic um, thing to help him. She said, what your, you know, your mother-in-law has given him, keep giving that to him. That'll help build his immune system. I was like, dang. Um, I got a couple of things I'm gonna throw in a try on, but I figured I'd show you guys in my vlog first. Cause I don't have many, um, but let's see if I can do this one handed. All right, so I watch, what's her, Shay? That girl Shay? No? Shay Whitney? I don't know. Anyway, I saw this on one of her um, top Amazon finds. <laughs> I will tell you, that was to make a buck because she said this is one of her top buys. This is the cheapest. Now, it's maybe it's beautiful on. It's a, like, it's a, a car, um, cami that kind of scoops down like this. I haven't tried it on, and it's got all kinds of, like, you can see it needs to be, like, steamed. It is the cheapest material that I've ever felt for a camisole. Not really great quality, but it was like 15 bucks. So, I mean, if it looks cute and it holds up, which I'll let you know as I wear it, then maybe it's worth it. I'll give you guys the real scoop. I'm not going to say, go buy this. It's less than 15 bucks and 
it's fabulous and then it's like crap you know all right so then i got a really cute pair i think these were also on amazon of paper bag waist um like army green joggery style pants but at the bottom they have these cute little bows at your ankle i'm gonna actually try this on with that with that little cami then on stitch fix these are kind of like a cream color i i've been looking for something like this they're a little fancier they're kind of like a jean niche but not really i could get away wearing these to work so these are um, by mason and bell and they are a really nice pair of pants with a belt and it's really beautiful and they were a good price and i just was like i want those so i got those I have a couple things I ordered from Walmart based off videos I saw that I was like, you know what, I want that. And I don't have sneakers. I think I've talked to you guys about that. I don't really wear sneakers. But these were the Scoop brand. And I got a pair of Scoop boots from last year that are no longer available. They were like black and a dark brown, like snakeskin boot. Love them, still have them. They're doing great. And they were really inexpensive. And look at these. These got glitter on the back. They've got the really cute leopard print, and then they've got this beige front, and the, the bottom of the rubber part has a little design on it, like a little leopard print design. Love, love, love. I'm so excited to try those on, and how cute are those gonna be with a pair of jeans? So I'm going to be getting, trying to get my video up for you guys this week on my third episode. I'm gonna be showing you some different fall outfits using some of the trends but I gotta do the laundry and I had a little mishap that messed my schedule up on Sunday. I fell on the swing with Grayson. I said, so I don't even know if I told you this, if I vlogged it or not. Anyway, we have that swing out front that's on the covered front porch and Grayson loves it. And we were swinging on there. It was calming him down because he just wasn't feeling good this weekend. And the swing fell out of the top of the thing and we both went tumbling down and I kind of cocooned him so he wouldn't get hurt. But when I fell, I went boom and I fell on my shoulder. Well, the only pain I really felt at that moment was my shoulder, but later that day I had a headache and I felt nauseous. Well, the next day I had a migraine headache. I couldn't even type a sentence. My brain was not working and turns out I have a concussion, um, mild. So today's Tuesday. So Sunday and Monday, I felt awful. Today I've been better, but I did notice a little struggle with trying to think at some things at work. And I got a, a twinge of a headache, not bad. Um, I'm still having really bad ringing in my ears, and I um, I had to I had to go to sleep at four o'clock. I like my brain was after working all day, my brain needed a rest. So um, I, I'm sure it's just a slight concussion, nothing super serious. But I think the impact of the fall must have either that or I hit my head and I don't remember it because the pain in my shoulder was so bad. I got a little bruise on my shoulder. Um, cause my shoulder took the brunt of everything and because he was in this, he was in this arm. So we went down and I was like holding him like this and I hit and it was like, boom, and it was real hard. He was okay. He just seemed like he, he just got scared, but I think I got like a knock that caused me some pain and head trauma. So I probably even told you that and I don't remember because I'm not remembering things right now. When I, and the, the ringing in my ears is the most annoying it is so loud. It feels like, you know, when you go outside on a summer night and you hear the cicadas and the and the crickets and all the noise and it's really loud outside. That's what it feels like inside my brain right now in my head. I hear it all the time and when I lay down it gets 10 times worse. So if that doesn't go away, I'm going to be going to see an ear, nose and throat doctor and seeing if there's anything they can do. It's really bad on this side, which is the side I fell on. So anyway, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update update because I don't think I updated you today and I'm getting ready to get in the shower and I'm going into the office tomorrow and Thursday and probably Friday so I won't be able to do too much more filming um, but I'm going to switch the laundry over right now I've got I want to make sure because I want to show you some of the fall trends you've seen them in my Instagram photos some of them I want to use the faux leather leggings and some of the looks and they're dirty so I need to get those washed so and I changed the cat litter, not realizing that Robert used the extra cat litter I had in the spare bedroom. So now I have an empty cat litter box upstairs in the in the spare bathroom and no litter. And he's it's 712 and he's working late. And I told him, I was like, you're going to need to pick up some cat litter on your way home because we got an empty litter box now. <sighs> anyway, that's what happens when you have this many cats. So I don't know where the little baby cat is. I was going to I was going to show you and give you an update on him. 
but he might be running around upstairs with the other cats. If I find him, I'll show him to you. All right, look who I have. I've got baby kitty. He's gotten a lot bigger. He's a good boy. He's very cuddly. He likes, well, I say he's cuddly. He likes to be held. He likes to, he likes to be pet. He loves Grayson. He's so good with Grayson. He was so funny when he came in the house today. He likes Nitro and went right up to Nitro, but, let's see, but he doesn't like Chopper. He like growled at Chopper. What you doing? You got some itches? Got some itches? So anyway, but he's doing really, really good. Let's see if he goes near Chopper. I gotta put Chopper's helmet back on. I took it off so he could eat. You guys wanna go outside? You go outside? Anyway, uh, my kids named that cat off after marijuana. They named him Doobie. So he is a boy. So his name is Doobie. Leave it to your 23 year old kid to name a cat after a joint. Anyway, all right, now I'm really gonna go. I'll see you guys later. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday morning. Um, I was playing with the little kitten, the little doobie kitten this morning. Um, the cats, I had to put him out of the bedroom last night. First he was being really good and wanted to sleep on the bed with me and he was just staying by me all sweet. But Gizzy kept trying to attack him. She was traumatized of him being there. So, anywho, um, I have the most out my window, look at this, the most beautiful, beautiful sunset. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous sky with the sun coming up absolutely beautiful this morning lots of oranges and reds and pinks i was ho i was trying to turn the camera on and get it before i passed by the majority of it where it was just like an open field but i didn't turn the camera i couldn't get the camera on on time so anyway i will see you guys later there's not a lot going on today except work i have a lot of work to do at the office i've been oh i've been oh <laughs> there we go I've been home the last two days due to my concussion and actually last night I had some hard time sleeping um, I can't I fell on my right side and I can't lay or sleep on my right side it I immediately get a headache I, I mean immediately so I could only lay on this side or on my back without a headache if I laid in turn this way I would get a headache so I had a hard time sleeping because I, I flip all all night all different ways so um, I got, obviously this side of my brain is currently damaged and yesterday about four o'clock I I felt it too I had worked all day and I needed to rest my brain and I could tell at four o'clock I needed to rest so uh, let's hope I do okay at the office I can't really take the kind of breaks at the office that I can take at home when I needed it um, so I guess oh gosh here's that view look at this look at this I know. Oh, that is the most glorious sunset that you have ever, ever seen. Oh, so pretty. Let's just take a minute and enjoy it. So beautiful, guys. Oh, God. That's something to wake up to every morning. All right. I mean, you can see it's like golden hour on my face. So I'm just going to be honest with my boss. He knows I have a concussion. Just explain to him what's going on. So, um, because I can't push myself. You can't push a brain injury. So, um, all right. I'll see you guys a little bit later. I'm getting on the highway and I need to focus. Hold on. I'm going to wait until I turn this corner with you and then I'm going to turn you off. All right. Bye guys. Good morning, friends. It's just before seven o'clock in the morning. I'm getting ready to go to work. Um, I had to sleep in the other room last night because Robert was snoring. He's just snoring so loud all of a sudden. I don't know if he's snoring louder or it's because of my concussion that it's like the noise is affecting me more because I noticed like the light of the TV affected me more. And the night before, I asked him to turn the TV off because he was snoring. He had been snoring for like 20 minutes. And I said, can you please turn the TV off? And he, he jumps up and he goes, I, I was watching that commercial. I was watching the whole commercial, Terry. I'm like, Robert, you were snoring. I was not, blah, blah, blah. and he's, oh, he was so mean. He was such a grump ass. So then same thing last night, I quietly grabbed my pillow and my, my charging cord and my phone and I was gonna just sneak out and go sleep in the other room. This, last night he had the TV off, but he was snoring. And he's like, what are you doing? And I said, I can't sleep with your snoring. I wasn't snoring. I was petting this cat right here. <laughs> what the fuck? 
okay. <laughs> I wasn't up for the last, you know, hours with, uh, okay. <laughs> I just walked out of the room, like whatever. So I finally got some sleep. Um, so I feel like I need to address this. There was, um, and maybe I didn't handle it right. You know, there was a little bit of a, there was a negative comment. It really didn't upset me all that much about how I wear my eyeliner on my makeup video. And I made a little funny kind of Billy Joel thing about it, you know, just being silly about it. Um, and then there was another negative comment, um, a really rude comment and from a subscriber that's been a subscriber for a while. And, and she does make some, some, other rude comments from time to time and I've just ignored it. I don't understand people. Um, I'm tolerant. I think now after doing YouTube for a while, I have a little bit of a tougher skin. Um, I feel like your personal style, your makeup, the way you do your hair, the way you dress is you. My friend who just passed away, she used to have 80s hair. Oh my God, she had the big, you know, the big feather back, curled feathered back hair. She had that until the day she passed away. In fact, we were, and we were so upset when she was in the casket because they didn't do her hair right. Her hair would have been that 80s feathered look and they did it wrong. And there wasn't one picture of my friend that she didn't have her hair that way. And was that my style? No, but it was hers and it made her her. And I would never take that away from her, you know? So, it, you know, I do a lot about style and fashion and everything, but truly what it comes down to is what you're personally comfortable with and what you like. It's never about what somebody else likes. And I'm completely confident and comfortable in myself. Um, I don't feel the need to change the way I'm doing things for someone else. I have a lot of liner on today. Well, this dark is like a dark red that you're seeing under here. It's like a, um, like a, this color, but darker. Um, I'm not going to do my stuff, my face different because you don't like it. Um, however, I don't need to allow the negative comments on my channel. So I will be either blocking people if comments are made like that, this is your only warning, or I, I'll just block you completely. I'll either del delete the comment or block you as a human so you can no longer comment on any of my videos and you will take a time out. Uh, we do have that power as creators. This is our page. This is our our video and the chat section, the comment section is my chat and comment section. And I will say almost every one of my subscribers is kind hearted and sweet and always uplifting. And that's what, that's what it should be. We should lift each other up. We should never tear each other down. Um, there's just never a space for it. There's never a space. If you're going to say something that will potentially hurt somebody else, always think of it like this. If somebody said that to you, would it hurt your feelings? Now, granted, if you have some sort of a mental issue, if you're autistic, you might not know that what you're saying hurts people's feelings. But if people keep telling you over and over you're being rude, you need to evaluate yourself or you need to speak up and say you have a problem. You have a, you have a mental disorder. There's just no real excuse unless you do have something physically wrong with your brain to be nasty to someone. There just isn't. I don't care. I don't care. It just is not going to be acceptable on my channel. It, it, I don't deal with these comments often. I really don't. I mean, it's one in, you know, how many videos? I, two, two, two in the last couple of days. So it's not that big of a deal. I, it's, this is your warning though. If you're going to make negative comments on my channel, which is my space, which I have a right to keep positive, you'll, your comment will be blocked. And then if you continue, you will be blocked. So nobody will see your comment and then I will, I will put you in timeout. So I hate that I have to treat grown adults like children. It's ridiculous. Anyway, I am off to work. It's dark out as you can see, and I've got to go. And I need some coffee this morning because I didn't sleep much because Robert was snoring. But no, no, no. He was petting the cat. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys. So I just got home from work. It's about, I think almost five o'clock on Thursday. And I got my knock knock flowers in for the fall. Let me show you. Here they are. So I'm gonna take them out and put them in those pots right there. Um, this was an unexpected surprise. I didn't know that I was getting these. So um, I'm gonna give them some water, get them out of their containers. And look how pretty they are. I don't know what those are. are those blanket flowers or some type of, maybe some type of a some type of a chrysanthemum. Oh, and look at this. So this is like a, um, 
Oh, they're wet. This is like some sort of on the end, um, a succulent little plant. Um, I'll look and see at the paperwork, see if it tells us what the, what it is. <laughs> the succulent has taken a bit of a, a hit, but they seem to package these really well. So this will just bounce back. Um, but it seems awful wet right now. So maybe I should just leave them overnight, let them get some sun. And the cool thing about these is, so they're, all you do, they're in these, um, plant pies. You literally take them like that and you're done. You just pop them in. So easy. So, so easy. So let's pop this guy in. Done. And then I'm going to stick those pretties in the sunshine. This one I need to dump. Yeah. So we're going to get things going over here and um, I'll show you when I'm done. Okay. Coreopsis is what that is. And this is something called Delosperma. And it was all kind of crinkled up in there. So I just pulled it all out. It's actually got a whole bunch of little buds all over it. I don't know what these little guys are going to look like once they bud, once they open, but we'll look at them again once it starts to kind of fill out. Um, so we have those through there and I have these little succulents um, along with some weeds that have, this was one tiny succulent and it's just grown amazingly. Um, that's probably gonna go in the house for the winter. And here's the other side, we have that one and that. Um, these are gonna be pulled this week, this one and this one are being pulled this week and we're going to sweep the stairs off and make it look nice but again delosperma and coreopsis said so they need full water full light watering and plant food after two weeks after transplanting so um i'll give it some liquid fertilizer or something in a couple of weeks after it sort of starts to settle in so um update for you guys about the negative comment on my video um, one subscriber a longtime subscriber apologized and um, I just want to say that I think it was it was very big of her to do so um, it's not it's not easy to say you're sorry it, it's not easy no matter who you are it's not easy so I just want to say that I appreciate that so so much no harm done it's all good um, but anyway, thank you guys for helping keep my platform a healthy, positive one. Um, I am going to, I think, make some tea. I need to buy tea. All I have is like, I think I had mint tea this morning. I have a lemon and a mint. I have chamomile. I have detox. I have all these different teas except what I want, which is just black tea. I don't have any black tea. So I need to go shopping. I actually still have my drink from this morning. This is just a vanilla latte. I, and it's probably three quarters of the way full because I get on my phone and I don't have time to drink it. So I may just, I don't know, I may just like warm that guy up and just sip on him. I'm going to decompress for a little bit. It's about five o'clock. Robert will probably be here an hour and a half. I need to do the dishes. I need to switch the laundry over. I need to vacuum the floor. I'll need to fold laundry once I, once I flip it over and I'm just, I'm already pooped out. So I'm just going to rest for a few minutes and I'm going to get busy picking up the house a little bit and uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later. You guys, I just had to show you my arugula has sprouted. Look at all the baby arugula. I just planted that like two days ago and it's all sprouting up. And then over here, this is wildflowers. And to me, well, I don't know, is that a, I think one of these might be a, come. I don't know. I thought maybe it was a um, sunflower. I don't know what it is. So I'm just gonna like when, yeah, there's a few little things all popping up in here. Look at that. Same thing here. I don't know what this stuff is. So what I'm gonna do is keep the soil really moist and then I'll take this whole little chunk out and just plant the whole chunk without disturbing it into the ground and let these wildflowers do its thing. So this is the lupine. That takes a little while to come up. That hasn't come up yet. And this is the bunny ear viola. That's probably going to take a little bit to come up as well. So, but I came home today and was so excited to see this. And then here, what is this? This is heading collared. Do you see any green? Oh, maybe right. 
Yes, those little guys are starting right here. They're starting to, they're just starting to come up as well. Same thing right, there's one right there and right there. So these are coming up too. These are our collared, um, like a cabbage -y thing, I think. So yay, yay, so excited. So, so, so excited. Um, I might plant some more this weekend. I And I think I'm going to, the front beds are such a mess right now, and I think I'm going to sprinkle a bunch of wildflowers in there and then just let whatever comes up, come up. I also have this like purple perennial flower that Robert got from a house he was working on. I think it's like a little, it's not a spider plant. If I can find a fit picture of it, I'll throw it on the screen, but it comes up every year when it, blo it blooms in the morning and then they kind of shut and they're purple. And he dug up a whole chunk of them and I'm going to plant that over on the side of the house in like the woodsy area. And um, this weekend we got Grayson's birthday party, but I do want to get outside for a little bit and see if I can kind of get things kind of cleaned up. My sweet peas are starting to bloom, uh, to grow out there. And then I have some, I showed you guys, I have some nasturtiums coming up. And then of course my onions are doing great. And so are my bush beans, which need to be transplanted. So um, I'm starting to empty all the containers with all the yucky stuff. And then I've got new soil. So I just have to get moving on that. So, um, all right guys, I'll see you later. Good morning, guys. It's Friday morning, about 9.30. I've got the little cat here. If you were in my Facebook group page, you would have already seen that Robert brought home a little sickly cat. He's about the, he or she is about, I think it's a girl actually, is about the size of a stick of butter. Um, she made it through the night. She's been eating. She tried to make it to the litter box, poor thing, but she's had diarrhea real bad. Um, and gosh, she's just so skinny. Let me show you. Let's try this again. Here she is. She's laying on a, a warm rice sack because she just had, oh, there we go. She just had a bath and Robert dried her off, but she's cold. She is like a little gangly looking thing, isn't she? But she's alert and she seems to be doing a little bit better today. I don't think she would have made it out there. I don't think she was getting any food. She's really, really little. She's had a, she had an accident in the middle of the night too. I didn't know it, Robert. She pooped all over herself and, um, but she knows where the litter box is. She's trying. So I think she's just got uncontrollable diarrhea. So anyway, look at how little she is. She's just a little stick of thing. Look at her. She's so tiny. She's so tiny. So, um, she got kind of real big ears. She's got little skunky markings on her. You see yourself? Or see yourself, pumpkin. <laughs> She's so little. Look at the little noses. Look at the little marks on her nose. She got a little mustache. Aw, sweet thing. You're pitiful. You're pitiful. You're pitiful, baby. She still looks like she's got blue eyes. I can't really tell from this angle, but I think she's still got blue eyes. Look at her whiskers. We got big whiskers and big ears. Nitro's coming over. Nitro loves, loves the babies. You love the babies. Huh. So anyway, I just wanted to um, pop on real quick and give you guys an update on this little one. I don't know what we're doing with this cat. We can't take any more cats into this house. We can't even afford the animals we have right now. So I'm a little stressed out right now. Um, well, money's tight, really tight right now. Um, but somebody had to save her. So can't, she couldn't even walk. She was like, she'd walk a couple steps and fall. Um, she's just so weak. So she seems to be doing a little bit better today. She's looking at, she's looking at Arrow, my mama cat. Arrow, like it, she's, Arrow loves all the babies, all the babies. Arrow was never a mama, but she would have been a great one. She's kind of the cat that welcomes all the strays in here and all the feral kittens. So, all right, guys, I'll see you later. I got to get to work. So I'm just drying her off, making her comfortable. And then she's going to be in the cage downstairs today in the little um, crate. Um, I've got a lot of work to do, so I'm going to keep an eye on her. <laughs> and I'll keep you look at, <laughs> I'll keep you guys posted throughout the day. She keeps snuggling into the little, um, into the sock which I had to clean off because she pooped on it. 
So, we're doing okay? We're doing okay, huh? She doesn't flinch or anything when we touch her. She's just, I think she just knew she needed help and now she's got it. Get you better, baby girl, and get you strong. These poor babies, they don't ask to be born. And people don't fix their cats. And then these kittens suffer. They suffer an awful life outside of starvation and worms and parasites and slow, painful deaths and dehydration. People need to fix their cats and stop being so irresponsible. Poor babies like this don't ask to be treated, you know, to go through this kind of a life. They're born into it, and it's just not fair. It's just not fair. So it makes me angry. I get angry when I hear, you know, people take cats and don't get them fixed. If you can't afford to get your cat fixed, don't take it. Every single one of our cats is fixed, um, and we are working on getting that feral mom in the bathroom. That's kind of semi-feral now at this point. Um, I think we have an appointment for her at, on October 11th. I won't know till October 10th, but I had a, a wonderful lady reach out trying to help me who has four TNR appointments, and she said she, if she traps the three she's trying to get in the colony, she'll have one left, and that I could use her fourth one. So I'm hoping, please say a prayer, that we can get Mama Kitty in there um, completely fixed on October 11th, and then we can figure out what we're doing with her. We still don't have a home for her, and she can't stay here. She, she loves Robert and I, but she freaks out with the dogs. She's not going to be a good, a good house cat with the dogs. And, uh, I, I don't, she might be a better, like she'll rub on you. You can pet her. She might be a better one that is like an outdoor barn cat, you know, cause she, she's not as feral as she was anymore. You can touch her and pet her and love on her now. So, um, all right guys. Well, I will see you guys much later. Oh, he's, he's lifting his head for me to look. He's so little. He's about the size of a stick of butter. He's purring. Oh, sweet boy or girl, whatever you are. I think it's a girl. I'll see you guys later. Okay, guys. I, uh, just, I'm just on my lunch break now. It's 12 o'clock. And um, this little one was sleeping um, all morning after giving another bath for pooping. Um, but she is purring. She she can eat hard food. She just ate some hard food and some soft food. I don't know if you can hear. Look at her little brown nose. From eating food. That's from food. <laughs> Look at you. You see yourself? Anyway, I don't think you guys can hear her, but she is... Right now she is content and she is purring. She is skin and bones. Her little, you can feel her whole spine. She's got long fur, so it's hard to tell, but you can, you can feel her entire spine. She is a severely underweight and um, probably the food we've given her yesterday and today is the first real food she's had in a while. Look at that little content face right now. I have named her Flower because she looks like a skunk, the skunk on Bambi. A bird that's a butterfly butterfly Butter butterfly no that's a flower flower uh-huh it's pretty party Me? her marking so she's got I don't know if you guys can see it but she's got little skunk marks all over on her look she's got little skunk marks so her name is flower this is flower it is a girl by the way I checked <laughs> so anyway I just want to let you know she seems to be doing well and she at least at the very least she is off the streets 
and she is content because she is purring and she is really loving the attention. She is going to be a good house kitty for someone as soon as we get her well. So, I just wanted to give you guys an update.